Good morning to you all. My name is Noah Davis, and today we're going to be talking about general customer service, the do's and don'ts of customer service, and how we can apply this in the daily workplace. So let's start with what is customer service. And now the definition, according to Investopedia.com, is the process of ensuring customer satisfaction with a product or service. And now let's take that definition and let's name a couple places that provide customer service. In the bank. Nail salon. The nail salon. The store. The doctor's office. The teacher. The teacher, that's a great point. That's one of those jobs that we usually don't associate with customer service. But in all actuality, it really does do a lot. At the end of the year, each school uh, gives out its report card. And on that report card, it has all the students' test scores and each grade level uh, broken down. And what that does is it provides the community with how the school is doing. This is available to anybody on that school's website. That's one way how they can show the results of what they're doing. Now the second way is uh, something called parent-teacher conference night. And now what they, they're supposed to do is a parent will come to this night. They'll have a discussion with the teacher about how their son or daughter is doing in school, what they're learning. And the teacher's responsibility is to provide the parent and the student with a positive environment of what the student is learning and what the student is doing. Now, that's a great example of how customer service applies to all fields, whether it's at the bank or at the nail salon or teaching. Customer service has to do with everything. And in turn, it has to do with selling. And selling is the name of the game in every field. So now let's talk about the actual process. Let's start with the introduction. First, you have to be positive in any customer or employee relationship. You have to go for a smile and a handshake and always have a warm greeting prepared, such as this one. Hello, my name is Noah Davis and welcome to Sears. How may I assist you today? It is a perfect warm greeting to provide to anybody. Always have one stored in your back pocket just in case you forget or you're on the spot a little bit. And now let's talk about uh, the actual interaction. So first you have to be attentive throughout the process. You always have to provide and talk and give feedback to the customer so that they know that in that moment, they're the most important person at that time. Now, according to Character Court, this helps provide, this helps build long-term business relationships. Now, these long-term business relationships build up into revenue, and that's always good because selling is the name of the game. And at the very least, always show the utmost professional. And now let's talk a little bit about the don'ts of the process. Now, the biggest thing is to keep the conversation where it is. Now, say a person on the sales floor has had a hard day because a couple of customers have walked in being disrespectful, a little rude. They got into an argument with uh, one of their coworkers about certain things. Now, say a new customer walks in and is expecting a positive environment, which they should be. And this employee that has gone through all these things comes up and says, hello, how are you? They should not do this in a very monotone uh, speech because that immediately turns off the customer. This is one of the biggest don'ts that you can see in any customer service environment. And do never bring up previous hardships because always professionalism is for the win. And does anybody have any questions so far? How about when you have um, more than one customer? More than one customer at a time is a perfect question. Now, what you have to do is you have to handle each individual case at a time, even if it's in a rotation. Say you go from one person to the next person, back to the first person, and then to a third person. It's a very common practice in any business, any uh, work environment. So what you have to do is 
you have to have you have to make sure that they that this person feels like they're the most important and then this person feels like the most important even though they know also that you're moving from person to person that's okay because they know that you're providing good customer service at the specific time now, does anybody else have any other questions you mentioned that from time to time you do get that customer that's irate for whatever reason yes but how do you deal with that customer now the best way to handle that is to always be positive now i'm not saying to be a little ditzy or to be a little um forgetful of what is happening in the situation but what i'm saying is to always be positive and say i'm sorry sir for what has happened but let me take care of you one of the biggest practices in any field is that uh a negative situation will arise, but it is how the next person responds. That is a great customer service uh, representation. And now let's go on to the next topic. Let's look at some of these companies that are known for providing amazing customer service and ones that are not known for it. And these companies are according to thebalance.com. Now, the good companies you see here, you'll see a couple ones that stand out to you, such as HEB a nationwide grocery chain that's known for providing uh, different products uh, similar to the Whole Foods market. And they're one of the best at uh, providing good customer service, ranked uh, tied for number four. You'll see some other familiar ones such as Chick-fil-A, PetSmart, Amazon, great customer service companies, some of the top ranked. Now we go over here to the bad, the bad list over here and you'll see the top one, AOL. AOL is one of those companies that was very well known in the late 90s and the early 2000s when the technology market was hitting a boom. It's fallen off in recent years, most in part due to its customer service. You'll also see another company here such as Home Depot. They've fallen off also due to their customer service, uh, due in part to the fact that uh, they can't compete with companies like Lowe's and Ace Hardware. Now, although we have all these, there are many more. And the best way to report uh, customer service um, faulty is to go up to any manager or to any uh, customer service desk and say, uh, hello, um, this situation has happened. Um, is there anything that can be done about it? And that is where the good company show off their mark. Now I would like to thank you all for coming. Uh, I hope that you all have learned uh, the do's and don'ts, uh, how customer service can apply to the workplace, and then you all can go out there and